Hey guys, uh, so today I've got a device Anycast. As you guys know, this device is uh, used for mirroring your phone onto your television. Uh, you can use your iPhone as well as your Android device and comes along with this device is a USB cable. Now this USB cable is connected to the device along with this uh, which looks something like a Wi-Fi dongle. Now this video is primarily going to focus on mirroring your iPhone to your non-smart television. So I'm going to be using a non-smart TV and I'm going to try and mirror my iPhone onto that non-smart TV using the Anycast device. Let's uh, look at the connectivity piece. The Anycast device has an HDMI port. So of course you'll need an HDMI port at the back of your television. Let's try to connect this here. I think it's connected. There we go. Uh, once it's connected, uh, take the USB cable and put it into the USB port. Once uh, the connection is done, you will see a blue light on your device. Now, I don't know if it's clear in this video, but there is a blue glowing light, which means that the connectivity has been done. Once done, let me just put the TV back in its place. Give me a second here. All right. Uh, what you need to do next is uh, use your remote and make sure you, you select the correct source. Let me select HDMI 1. As soon as I select HDMI 1, I am greeted with this screen from Anycast. There are three steps to it. Step number one is connect to Anycast. Step number two is to connect uh, to that IP address. And step number three is to mirror. You see a red X here. That means step number one. That means we are still not connected to Anycast. As I said earlier, I am going to be using an iPhone here. Uh, I wanted to show you, make this video specifically for iPhone. So what we need to do is first we need to connect to Anycast as step number one says. Let's go to a Wi-Fi page and once let it search for your Wi-Fi networks and here it will show you Anycast. Now when you try to connect to Anycast it will actually ask you for a password. Now because I have already connected it before so it did not ask me but when it asks you for the password the password is available on, the on your television at the top right. So this is the password that you have to enter when you try to connect to the Anycast, Anycast Wi-Fi service. Step number two as you see here this is an IP address we will have to use this IP address or we will have to connect this IP address using our web browser. So let me open Safari. As you guys see here, I've already connected to the IP address 192.168.49.1. This IP address we got on step number two on your television. You will see scan and add a network. You can click on scan. What this will do is it will go and scan for the Wi-Fi networks that are available nearby. It's a bit slow. Just give me a second. I've clicked on scan. Yeah. So if you see, these are the three Wi-Fi networks that are available near my phone. Let me select any one. And once it is connected, you will see a connecting message here. I don't know if it's clear, but this shows connecting. But what I've seen is even if it shows connecting here in the background, the device is actually connected. Now, next, what we need to do is we need to mirror. So let's go back. You can disconnect from any cast and now connect to your Wi-Fi. Once that is done, pull down the con pull up the control center and you'll see screen mirroring. Here you'll have to select any cast now. Just give it a second. And now guys, if you see, we are actually mirroring the iPhone onto the television. Just to make it clear again, as, it, as I said earlier, this is a non-smart TV. It does not have any smart TV features. And I'm now mirroring my iPhone onto my TV. And the most important thing is I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi. So I'm not connected to my mobile network. I'm actually mirroring it on the TV using my Wi-Fi. Here I've launched the YouTube app. Let me just try to play a video. Now again, the quality of a video will depend on your internet speed, your Wi-Fi speed. So you need a good connection. Let me just try to play a video here. Alright, so yeah, this is just a YouTube video. Let me close it out. So yeah, the most important part for this video was streaming an iPhone onto a non-smart TV. To disconnect, pull up control center, click on stop mirroring and that's it. Your mirroring is stopped. In case you want to disconnect your device, just go to the back of your TV, pull out the HDMI port. That's it. Thank you.